Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to the Dean Machine podcast. Today I want to talk about a video that I just watched. It's um, very sad but not surprising. It's about Bahrainis and Emiratis celebrating Hanukkah with the Jews in these critical times. Also, I want to talk about a possible joint uh, partnership in regards to defense with Israel and the Gulf partners. Um, but let's talk about the video first. Now, a recent video has surfaced where you see Emiratis and Bahrainis doing Hanukkah with Jews. Now, this has a big impact in terms of message to the Ummah. It's showing that the suffering in Palestine, Yemen, Iraq, Syria, Rohingya, Somalia, um, and around the world that their suffering, the, the Muslim suffering, it, it doesn't matter. Why? Because they're celebrating after they have been normalized ties with Israel, now, the, now they are celebrating Hanukkah together. And guess where they're celebrating it? Yeah, they're celebrating it in uh, Occupy Line in Al Aqsa. Yeah. So while these enemies of Islam, the Yahud, the Israel, are bombing um, uh, Palestine, you know, there you have Bahrainis and Emiratis celebrating Hanukkah together. Yeah, this is what's happening. Another thing that which which uh, also um, surfaced is I was just reading on the newsfeed and it says that um, there's a possible uh, a, a joint expedition where what the what they want to do is they want to have Israel and their Gulf partners to have like this whole joint defense military uh, missile thing where they they're doing this under the guise of, oh, Iran is our enemy and Iran is hostile, hence why we need to have defense. It makes sense. And to be honest with you, um, for them to do that, it makes sense because all the excuses that I've been hearing from these from these uh, so-called uh, Muslim leaders, um, they're saying that we only are um, normalizing ties with Israel because Israel and enemy is Iran, our enemy is Iran, hence why we're normalizing ties. Um, so this is what's happening. You also have the head of the Israeli Missile Defense uh, Organization. He even said that he would need Washington's approval to go ahead with this project. Um, so you can see that obviously America is going to be involved in this whole project as well. So you can see that it's only defense for Israel. It's only defense for UAE and um, Bahrain and, and now we hear Morocco is normalizing ties with Israel as well. It's only defending them. But what about defending the billions of Muslims around the world? What about defending the, the Muslims in Palestine? What about defending the Muslims in Yemen? What about defending the Muslims in Syria, Iraq, Somalia, Rohingya? You know, the countries, are, I can state so many countries where Muslims are suffering. Well, no, that's not the case. You, you know, you, you want to do a, a project for uh, you know joint defense uh, military action against iran um, and partner with the the yahud with israel which doesn't make sense as well because they're killing your own muslim brothers and sisters in palestine but nevertheless you you can see the blatant um uh, kufr that is taking place look look at this uh, look at it this way now imagine a house and you have your family there and this one guy comes to your house, kills everybody but you and your son. 
But now what happens is your son, he goes over there and he go and he goes and party, um, parties with the uh, with the murderer. Does that make Does that make any sense? No, it doesn't. But this is what's actually happening. You guys are celebrating what Hanukkah and all that stuff together, um, while uh, they've just like massacred so many of the Muslim brothers and sisters. And there's no care. It doesn't. It just doesn't add up. So you can see that the, these are Muslim uh, leaders. They only care about the self national interest. They don't care about the ideological Islamic interest. What that means is the brotherhood. What that means is caring their caring about the affairs of the Ummah that's what it means and there's a chronic ayah that which is very very relatable to the situation that we that we are in right now Allah SWT says in the Quran in Surah Al-Maida chapter 5 verse 51 believers do not take the Jews and the Christians for your allies they are allies for each other and among you he who takes them for allies shall be regarded as one of them Allah does not guide the wrongdoers so you can see in the Quran Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has stated it clear clear cut that we should not ally with them but yet the opposite is happening we are allying with them so subhanallah um, I, I don't know what to say you know it is it's very depressing but we should always continue to expose the the i don't know if it's a positive but what i can say is that now it's blatant now you can see that these rulers these so-called vanguards of the muslim ummah um, they are not the vanguards they are not these so-called rulers are just acting like they are separate entities like uae is the only country whatever and um, you have bahrain the only country whatever and they and they think that you know they're just, they're just concerned about their own nationalistic interest but with islam it transcends all these borders all these nationalistic interests it transcends all of these things you know, in the history of Islam, there were three continents under the Islamic rule and Muslims were prospering and they were united. And this form of um, nationalism, asabiya, racism, all these kinds of were, you know, it, it was there, obviously, you know, you can't eradicate everything totally, but it's literally non-existent. And the system itself acted on er eradicating any kind of disunity in terms of asabiya in terms of racism yeah but now you see um these 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 muslim countries are acting as individual entities and not as one but muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam said what did he say our beloved muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam said that the Ummah is like one body. If one part of the body is hurt, the whole body will feel the pain. This is unity. This is how we should be. Not squirming around and, oh no, this is my land and I want to be like this. And that's, this is my people in that region and I don't care. This is my self-interest and whatever. No, this is un-Islamic. Allah SWT says in the Quran, Innam al You are nothing but a single brotherhood. Whether you are from the east or whether you are from the west. The fact that a west in the a Muslim from the west and a Muslim from the east, the one thing they'll have in common is Islam. They will have Islam. But if they are poisoned with asabiyah nationalism racism 
then this bond of fraternity will be weakened and then what will happen is um, animosity between the brothers will take place and this is what we see on a state level around the globe with our Muslim countries but it is not all doom and gloom we have to keep on keep on exposing um, these rulers keep on exposing um, the plots and the plans of the enemies of Islam keep on exposing any plans which are affecting the Ummah because this is this this battle of the battle of the hearts and minds is the most important battle anybody can throw a fist but changing the heart and mind is the real battle so anyways I thought um, I just quickly talk about this um, and I just, it just really got to me today so I just thought I'd do a quick video but anyways Jazakallah uh, Khair for listening please like share please do share and um, and subscribe and also make dua for me and my family and assalamu alaikum